Hi everyone! Today we're talking about uh, the difference between ENTPs and ENFPs. I recently created a poll on my channel asking you which one of these popular um, combinations you'd be interested in uh, me talking about and ENTP versus ENFP is the one that ranked highest uh, followed by INFJ and INFP so um, I'll be talking about this in the next video. Anyway getting back to our topic uh, today we'll be discussing the differences between ENTPs and ENFPs in terms of temperaments and in terms of cognitive functions and other things that I kind of picked up on or things that can kind of help us understand what's going on. Um, so all about that in the next few minutes. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in. So um, one of the major things that comes to mind when I think about, you know, how do I tell apart these two types is understanding the difference between TI and FI, between introverted thinking and introverted feeling. I also touched on this in the video from um, last week where I compared INTP and INFP um, and I'm gonna explain it a little bit more today. So both ENTPs and ENFPs lead with extroverted intuition, however their second function or parent function is different. Um, ENTPs have introverted thinking as their second or auxiliary or parent function which means that their nature will be very different than ENFPs with their introverted feeling as a parent function. I like to associate the idea of parent function with responsibility. Like what is the parent within you um, doing? Okay, who are you parented by? And a notable thing here is that ENTPs with introverted thinking parent function will be extremely good at supervising logic. That's how I kind of like to think about it. So how can I make sure that the information is accurate? How can I make sure that I have a very good understanding of the logical information that I am provided with? How can I make sure that the information that I learn can be categorized into different um, groups based on certain criteria? What are the pros and cons that are helping me to make this decision? On the other hand, um, ENFPs have introverted feeling as a parent function, which means that they will be um, supervised in the moral process. They will be much more interested in um, certain emotional values or subjective values that um, matter a great deal to them and that will be the point from which they will kind of um, you know feel mature from the point that will enable them to have this understanding of what really matters to them on an emotional subjective level now of course you might say well how do I know if this is what um, I value, how do I know that this is important to me um, and whether this is a reflection of me using introverted feeling. Now a common misconception in the community is that FP types um, are moral and have morals and values whereas TP types do not. Of course that's not true uh, because all human beings have values. It's just a matter of how aware we are of those values and um, how much we make decisions based on that. Um, you will see that introverted thinking types, especially TPs, so in this case ENTPs, will usually um, get much more influenced by the values of other people. And this takes me to my next point, extroverted feeling, right? They have extroverted feeling as their child or tertiary function, which means they will um, often take their values from the group, from the people that they care about, from their relationships and kind of uh, assimilate those values in order to have them become their own. They might be much more interested in social harmony because of that, because um, they might feel a bit stressed about clinging on to some values that the other people they, that they care about do not also have. On the other hand, ENFPs and introverted feeling coupled with extroverted thinking will make the individual more attuned to those values that they do um, feel are really their own, okay? So 
it doesn't matter what these values are okay they might be different for different people and it's not necessarily just the type thing there are other factors that come into play like you know your background your education um, the values that your family kind of passed on to you uh, your culture your religion and all sorts of things however um, introverted feeling types will be more in touch with their own authentic values and less likely to allow themselves to have these values influenced by the group more resistant to um, have those values influenced by the group. Now, this does not necessarily mean it's a good thing or a bad thing. Again, we keep you know, criticizing types for certain things, but <laughs> all things are both good and bad depending on the angle that you look at it from and depending on the health of that function. So uh, yes, introverted feeling types can be very good at, you know, remaining authentic to what truly matters to them but at the same time it, they might become more rigid because they cling on to those values too tightly and sometimes forget to also allow themselves to be flexible they might judge people more if they do not align with their values which again um, can cause them sometimes difficulties in having harmony in their relationships so there's two sides to the story same thing for ENTPs with introverted thinking and extroverted feeling. Um, yes, they might sometimes forget about what their values are and might let themselves be influenced by the group way too much. Whereas um, they, they will be better at being flexible in relationships and not appearing so rigid when it comes to the things that they care about or the things that are important to them. So regardless of type, um, ENTP or ENFP in this case, you will still have both good and bad things that you need to take into account. So that's an important thing to understand here. Now, um, I'd also like to touch on extroverted thinking in ENFPs. Something that is quite visible and very easy to spot is the fact that ENFPs have extroverted thinking child. And the more they grow, the older they get, the more interested they will be in a step-by-step -step approach to do things. I have ENFPs in my life who I see um, that they ask questions about, okay, what would be a step-by-step -step approach to solving this problem? Or what would be the step-by-step -step solution into helping me um, figure out this or that or improve this skill or improve the other skill or get knowledge on this topic and so on. Um, what are the expected outcomes of this thing? What is the procedure that I would need to take into account? And older ENFPs will often become very interested in procedures or regulations or rules because they have been missing on that for a long part of their lives and now they suddenly want to organize everything that they do. They suddenly want to have a template uh, to the things that they do and that's why they will kind of naturally gravitate towards TJ types kind of admiring that let's say healthier extroverted thinking or more pronounced extroverted thinking um, this will not really happen with ENTPs because their approach will usually be more um, against the rules against the procedure against the step-by-step -step approach which will be their natural introverted thinking response to the situation Okay, uh, something else I would like to, to, to say here in order to understand the difference between these two types is the way they um, relate to people and groups. Something I often um, notice in ENTPs is that <laughs> they have a tendency to become very different depending on the person that they interact with. And this is um, probably a combination of ENI and EFI. Um, extroverted intuition opens them up to poss possibilities, makes them curious um, with respect to the people that they interact with, makes them interested in finding out more and more and more about those people, this intellectual curiosity that they all seem to possess. And then extroverted feeling makes them very responsive and empathetic to other people, to their feelings, to their needs, to what is important to them and so on. So uh, sometimes ENTPs will um, talk to one person and seem to have the same opinion, the same perspective as the other person, 
sometimes without even realizing or sometimes on purpose. And then they will also interact with someone else and seem to have a contradictory perspective. And this is also a result of the fact that introverted feeling is not a developed function for them. It's basically their trickster fun function, so the one that they have the most difficulty handling, which will result in them um, kind of having a hard time realizing what their own um, wants are or what their own values are. Conversely, ENFPs can also seem very adaptable with respect to the people that they interact with, again, because of that strong extroverted intuition and the intellectual curiosity and openness. However, with their introverted feeling, they will be much more stubborn um, with respect to their own values and with respect to the things that, as I said at the beginning of the video, are really fundamentally emotionally true or subjectively true in their perspective, okay? So they will not change their opinions so much um, even though they might still perceive themselves as very good at adapting, which obviously they are, but in a pretty different way compared to ENTPs. I hope this makes sense. Um, sometimes I find it difficult to put it into words, but um, this would be a kind of a discrepancy that I noticed in the way they interact with other people. Um, I also said at the beginning of the video that I'm going to touch on the different temperaments. Uh, ENTPs are rationals or intellectuals, whereas ENFPs are idealists. Again, this is something that kind of um, has an impact on them because ENFPs being idealists are much more likely to be passionate and driven when it comes to uncovering human potential, getting involved in humanitarian causes, um, fighting to show people um, that they are special, that they should fight for the things that they really believe in. On the other hand, ENTPs will have a more rational perspective, obviously, um, and a more logical approach to things. Even though a lot of ENTPs will show their FE quite a lot, and at first sight they might even appear to be feelers, as you get to know them and as you get to talk to them, you will see they're much more interested in understanding how things work, in um, demolishing your arguments with logic, uh, in always counter-attacking with a different argument or a different perspective. That's why they are stereotypically called the debaters, right? Uh, I'm not saying that ENFPs cannot do this, but the more you get into a conversation with them, the more you'll notice these different approaches that FI and TI have. TI will love getting into um, intellectual, logical arguments, kind of coming with an argument coming with an opposite argument, seeing the pros and cons and so on and so forth. Whereas um, FI, introverted feeling, will at some point get very exhausted uh, by that and might lose track of, of these kind of perspectives and will rather talk about things that they value, things that they like, things that are important to them and will bring this moral or uh, value-based judgment into their conversations and into their arguments. Okay, so um, this is my take on the most notable differences between ENTPs and ENFPs. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Anything else that you kind of noticed about the way that these two types, you know, interact with the world, think, talk, and so on and so forth? If you have, please feel free to, uh, to share your comments below. Uh, thanks a lot for being with me in this video. Um, and just a quick note before I end, uh, for those of you who don't know this yet, I offer coaching sessions, personal development sessions with respect to uh, developing certain uh, skills, but at the same time uh, aligning yourself with your vision and values. It's not just an MBTI or Enneagram perspective that I bring. These are just tools that I work with in the process. Um, but you will find more information about that and the types of services that I offer by clicking the link in the description. Um, thanks again. Really, really happy to have, with, have you with me and see you next week with a video on the differences between INFJs and INFPs. Have a great weekend.